Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today I would like to guide you how to crack any interview. So this will be useful for any graduate, so particularly freshers, right? So you might be uh, the engineering graduate or any degree get graduate. Definitely this video will be useful for you. So before attending the interview, we need to take care about three things. The first thing is a resume. So prepare your resume very carefully because the interviewer doesn't know about yourself, right? So the complete textual information about you will be in this resume. So this will be a reference to your personal profile. Okay, so very careful while building the resume. So I have already recorded how to prepare a resume. So you can go through that. That will be in a description section. Right? And the second one, the look, look and feel. So always we know the quote, the first impression is the best impression. So the look should be very attractive and so that the, the interior should be impressed. So always try to wear the pleasant colors and in a formal way. Okay, so the next one is attire. So, which is nothing but a look and feel. So, use a formal dress, both boys and girls. Okay. And the third one, so be always smile. Okay. So, don't give a broad smile. So, a little bit smile uh, will give a good impression on you to the interviewer. Right. So, be the smiley face. And the next important thing is be on time. Be on time. So at least 15 to 20 minutes before you reach the destination, the interview destination, so that uh, you can feel better while attending the interview. So you can relax for 15 to 20 minutes before starting the interview. Right? So these are the things you have to uh, follow before attending the interview. And coming to the, attending to the interview, the first thing, immediately after entering into the interview room, so greet each and every panel member. So some interviews will be having only one panel member, some interview will be having some three or four panel members. So just greet every panel member. And after that, so carry a, a bulk of resumes. So please give the resume to each and every panel member and be confident while answering each and every question so the first question you can expect is tell me about yourself so for that you have to do a lot of homework what to be expressed in that particular tell me about yourself because that will be the first question and with that answer Definitely, the interview panel members will be having some sort of impression about you. So, in our channel, we have already created a two videos on how to build a resume and also how to answer the question, tell me about yourself. So, you can refer those two videos before attending the interview. So, I'll post the link in the description section. And uh, after uh, entering into the interview room, so as I said that, just greet yourself and uh, uh, give your resume to all the panel members and then you have to focus more on your projects. So being a final year, after complete, being a fresher, right? So what you have done is a project, either it may be a degree or uh, uh, some engineering. So as an undergraduate student or undergraduate uh, uh, fresher, so you have some experience on your project. So be prepared about your project because they'll mainly focus on the projects and immediately after that, they'll main focus on your internships if there are any. And also try to participate in more number of events which are not available or which are not included in your curriculum. For example, so in your curriculum, you might not be uh, learning about IOT concepts. So go to the workshop, attend the workshop, 
regarding the IOT and learn something and your uh, curriculum doesn't have some cyber security concepts then learn some few cyber security fundamentals and that shows your interest towards the latest technology so we know that the technology is moving growing faster day by day so attending for the workshops or any seminars on these kind of topics which are not included in your curriculum will show the interview interviewer that you are interested towards the latest technologies so they'll expect only the fundamentals being a fresher you have to be a strong in fundamentals and remember so they don't know about yourself even you are a topper in your section you are very strong in programming you are strong in some technical you are strong in some core but that doesn't know by the interviewer so at that time what you are uh, performing is the main issue okay so be prepared for that and be confident and one more important thing don't rush toward answering the questions so just take a few seconds before starting answering just think a few seconds how to answer and start answering the question and always be confident while answering the question whether it may be right or wrong okay and also take it very serious of preparing for the interviews because there is a lot of competition right so we should be very careful and definitely the interview process will be uh, in between some 30 to 45 minutes duration and how far your performance in that particular 30 to 45 minutes will be the rest of your life right so be strong about the fundamentals which you have covered in your curriculum and more focus on your projects and coming to the technical so be strong with any one programming language of any other disciplines of uh, csc right other than the csc and allied branches be strong with the c programming because the c programming will be the common language which you have learned okay and coming to the csc and allied branches focus on at least two or three programming languages and also the projects you have done and what is the technology you have used for developing that project whether java or python or c and you have to justify the reason to select that particular programming language for doing that project so if you have, if you have done a project using java definitely you can expect a question that what is the reason to select java why not a python so you need to do some homework on these kind of questions and always you can also expect what is the familiar language among all these skills that means you you might be knowing some three languages c python and java then the question you can expect is which is your you are more familiar so if you are saying that i am more familiar with the python and if your projects are done in other languages definitely you have to answer the questions you have to justify your answer and focus on the internships right so and also coming to the csc and allied branches concentrate on the database so mostly now all the projects as per my knowledge all the projects were doing in a machine learning or deep learning or national uh, natural language processing and etc etc and also by in image processing so in each and every project we are going to i mean the students were going to use the data sets so no one were using the database so you be prepare for the fundamentals of dbms you can expect the queries okay what is a query and how to write the queries what are the constraint constraints and what are the acid properties crud properties and also the normalization okay schema so all these things the basic fundamental topics you need to learn on dbms and after that also go with the web development like html css and javascript
So focus on the fundamentals, they're just the fundamentals. Because most of the applications you are supposed to use a graphical user interface, right, in the projects. And obviously that, that can be done majorly by using the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And some might be using some uh, a Python, so web, web packages like Flask and everything. So even then also they'll be, ha they'll be using a few concepts of HTML, J JavaScript and CSS. So be sure that you are uh, familiar with the fundamentals of uh, the web technologies, the web de development. And also learn some core, co core subjects. Okay, in all the branches, not only the CEC and allied branches. So be prepared with a, uh, at least a two or three core subjects. And definitely the interviewer may ask the question on which subject you are most familiar. Then obviously you, you will be having a chance of selecting the subject for interview questions. And, and also the one more important, always explain the concepts with an example treat that the interview doesn't know anything the interviewer doesn't know anything so you have to explain everything from the scratch so use always try to use the live, real life examples in order to understand the concepts okay so just follow all these points definitely you will crack any kind of interview. So the attire, smile on your face. So be on time, punctual, okay, confident. And also before entering into the interview, treat that this is a last interview. Prepare like that. So this will be your last interview. So after this, you will not be getting any job. And just remember this point and prepare in such a serious way and after completion of the interview while coming outside so take it very light so if this interview is gone so let it be we'll moving on with the next interview so don't get depressed okay so your answers might be correct but your presentations may not be correct or may not be impressed with the interviewers when you are get rejected. So don't get depressed. Okay. And don't do the same mistakes in your next interview. So that's why before entering the interview, treat it as a last interview. And before, after coming out, treat it as a alternative. So if this is not, so we can go with the further uh, one more interview with a more uh, preparation. And always definitely one thing you have to remember, you have to do a lot of homework and also do homework on the company. So what are the services of the company? Well, who is the CEO? What are the products of that company? The company logo, everything you prepare for that because you might be uh, expecting the questions regarding the company also. And also a final question will be, the, they'll be giving you a chance to ask a few questions. So you can ask the questions regarding the company. So what are the services? Okay, so what are the products? So etc, etc. You can also ask the uh, questions uh, about the company in the interview. Okay, so by following all these things, definitely you will be get selected in any kind of interviews. Right, so remember this one. And hope you enjoyed the session and if you need any queries and if you want any help uh, regarding any one of these, so feel free to express your queries in the comment section. Definitely I'll try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.